Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. And here come the Texas Longhorns in the 2024 high school recruiting trail as Jarrett Gibson, the second best running back in the country, has committed to Texas. This is days after Christian Clark, one of the better running backs in the 2024 class, also has committed to Texas. To shard choice. Uh, we talked about it a little with Christian Clark. We talked about the possibility of Jarrett Gibson also joining the class. Deshar Choice is doing a phenomenal job recruiting the running back position. You take a look at C.J. Baxter in the 2023 class. We talk, and we'll get into Jared Gibson, but we talk about the importance of having those young ace recruiters. Deshar Choice is absolutely crushing it for Texas. You take a look at this running back room for the future. Jared Gibson, Christian Clark, C.J. Baxter. I mean, that is one of the most talented running back rooms in the country. On top of that, they're going to have a phenomenally talented quarterback room as well. The Texas Longhorns gaining some serious momentum on the recruiting trail after we talked about potentially a slow start for Texas. But we said it's probably going to ramp up and buckle up because I do think Texas is going to get hot on the trail here. Now, before we get into it again, just want to say thank you to you guys. Uh, just all the support. We've talked a lot of Texas football the last couple of days because Texas has been hot. Longhorn fans, you guys have been absolutely awesome. So if you do enjoy the content, you like talking, recruiting, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, can't thank you guys enough for all the support in Texas. And they're getting hot. So we're going to have a lot of updates. Going to try to cover as much of it as we can for you guys. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Let's get into Jarek Gibson. The first thing you like is he just seems like a pro back. Like really, really polished in terms of running the football. Likes to get downhill quickly. He has, I mean, like from a physical tool set, like he has everything you want, right? 5'10", 210 pounds, thick lower half, really good contact balance. Also very explosive, right? 4'5", laser, 40 time down at IMG, 41 inch vertical. And IMG, they do a phenomenal job. Whenever you get kids from IMG, like you know they're going to be college football ready because that strength staff and that nutrition, like that is college football like. So the transition for a lot of these IMG kids is relatively smooth. And Jared Gibson, no doubt, will have an impact early for this Texas Longhorns team. And, man, that running back from C.J. Baxter, uh, Jared Gibson, and Christian Clark is absolutely nuts. I want to take it to the film a little bit. Check out what Jared Gibson brings to the table. And the one thing I want to focus on the most is you're going to see, like, this dude is fast. He, but the, What I like the most is, is he gets downhill. A lot of these like five-star top running backs in the class, they like to go east and west and, and kind of just use their speed to run around. He gets downhill. He runs the ball extremely aggressively. And that's the type of stuff that translates to the next level. I think a lot of the running backs that you see struggle to get accustomed to college football are the running backs that ran a lot of east and west in high school, right? Now I'm just faster than everyone else on the field. I'm going to out angle. Jared Gibson, not so much like that. He gets downhill and downhill in a hurry and runs with violence, right? You're going to see him take it. A very nice feet navigating through the hole, and then I'm just going to get north and south, put a stiff arm in someone's grill, and take it to the house. You see the the four or five burners as well. Very comfortable in open space. What I like most about him is how he picks through traffic and takes one cut and gets aggressively downhill. That is something that's kind of rare. Again, one cut, bounces out a little bit, but then gets right back upfield and contact bounce. It's absolutely nuts. Like This guy does not go down to the ground. Like The first couple – like highlights of this film that I watched, like he's barely touching the ground because he's very hard to tackle. Again, one cut navigates through traffic, squeezes his way through really, really good. Just a good feel for navigating the junk and coming out the other side. And then when he gets to the second level, safeties and linebackers, you got to be perfect with your angles. Like if you're not perfect with your angles with Jared Gibson, he is going to take it to the house. Here he goes again. Again, I haven't seen him getting tackled one time in the last four years. They ain't even pushing him out of bounds. He's just taking it for the house. There's a, a lot to like about Jared Gibson. And again, I love the contact bounce. That's like insane. He doesn't go to the ground. I So the one thing I like and I want to note is I, I like the combination of Christian Clark and Jared Gibson because Christian Clark is really spacey. He's phenomenal catching the football. If you guys listen to our coverage on Christian Clark, 34 catches as a junior in high school. That is rare for running backs to catch the ball that much. Coach Sark likes to get his running backs in space and use them out of the backfield. That was something that I think was so underrated with B. John Robinson was his ability to catch the football as well. Not only was he the best pure ball carrier in the country, but he was also phenomenal out of the backfield. Christian Clark, I think, certainly brings that. And then Jarek Gibson, just bringing the all-around game 
for, uh, for, for to Texas, I should say. Now, getting to the class, right? This is their sixth commitment, right? It's been a slow start, and it, it's wild because we talked Santana Wilson a week ago, and that was, what, their third commitment of the class. And now they've doubled it, landing Freddie Dubose, one of the top players in Texas. By the way, Freddie Dubose missed his whole junior year due to an ACL injury. Top 200 right now, I could see a guy like Freddie Dubose being a top 100 player when this class is all said and done. You add Santana Wilson, Christian Clark, and now Jarrett Gibson, who's going to be your top-rated guy in the class. It's Texas is heating up again outside the top 50 right now, just because they haven't really landed commits. But you take a look at the talent that they've had on campus the last couple of weeks. That's when you get really excited for the Texas Longhorns and what this 2024 class could be taking it to who they have on campus and what this could look like. Let's start with the two five stars, Colin Simmons, getting crystal to Texas, a kid from Duncanville. There are roots there. Colin Simmons is a bonus. I mean, you see the national ranking. I'm not like giving you guys any like earth shattering news. Colin Simmons is awesome. Like in terms of twitched up length edge rusher, Colin Simmons is next level. Texas continuing to try to build the trenches and get some of those impact guys in their front seven. Colin Simmons would go a long way. Kobe Black, the Longhorns also leading with him. One of the best cornerbacks in the country. Another five star from the state of Texas. They're going to have Terry Bussey on campus. Five-star defensive lineman Dominic McKinley on campus, Selman Bridges, and a lot of these guys are trending to Texas. Jordan Johnson Rubel, another guy that as a Michigan fan, I absolutely love. He's one of my favorite prospects in the class. Also trending towards Texas. Jordan Johnson Rubel is a dude that could play safety, but I think he's gonna be great in that like nickel. And Texas likes to use some of those guys that you're a safety, you walk into the box, you play around the line of scrimmage, you make impacts on the that's like the biggest transition I've seen from Texas on the defense side of the ball is they want to play a little bit more downhill. They want to play a little bit more in your face. A guy like Jordan Johnson or Bell, a safety that's a very good tackler that you can line up around the line of scrimmage, certainly could do that. Daniel Cruz, another nice one, and Parker Livingstone. All guys that are trending to Texas inside that top 300 national rank, and you even go Jaden Jackson on campus. I like him a lot as well. And even going back to last weekend, Right, five star Ryan Wingo sitting right next to Arch Manning at the recruiting uh, dinner, if you will. Ryan Wingo, like, once you get Arch Manning, you have guys like Quinn Ewers, like that, it makes it so much easier to sell wide receivers to come to Texas. Because what is a wide receiver looking for? Who am I going to be in a good offense? And am I going to have a good quarterback throwing me the football? As a Michigan fan, I can relate too much to that's why we're missing out on a lot of these five star wide receivers because the offense. For the last couple of years, now it's starting to change at Michigan, was not nearly that explosive, and there was never really a quarterback of the future. Now that's changed a little bit, but it still impacted Michigan's recruiting specifically at that wide receiver position. You have Coach Sark calling the offense with Arch Manning as your quarterback of the future. You have Quinn Ewers in there right now. Muhammad's awesome as well. Like That's how you sell these elite wide receivers like a John Tay Cook to come to Texas. So Ryan Wingo, certainly there, five-star offensive tackle, Brandon Baker. Aaron Hampton, another guy that I could see coming to Texas. Blake Ivy, one of the better tackles in the class. It's This is a very exciting time for Texas in terms of it's a slow start to the class. But, man, the amount of talent that they've had on campus over the last two weeks, I would expect there to be a lot more updates about this Texas class in the near future. because Texas seems to be rolling, and these official visit weekends seem to be really hitting it off with a lot of these recruits. And I think another element is if Texas can be as good, and we just dove into this Texas team in 2023, it is on paper one of the most talented teams in the country. If you can start winning some games in 2023 going into the SEC, I think there's going to be a lot of guys that maybe late in this cycle, November, December, when it's time to sign that paper, say, hey, Texas, they're clearly trending in the right direction. They're clearly kind of trending back to being that national powerhouse that we associate Texas with. I could see some late flips or some late commitments as well. Once the the proof of proof of concept, if you will, that Texas is coming back it is is on the field, and they see that, and these recruits see that. So very exciting time for Texas Longhorn fans on the field. Play clearly getting better. Recruiting though is seriously trending up again. Appreciate you guys checking the boys out. Wanted to come on talk a little Jarrett Gibson as he commits to the Texas Longhorns. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas again. If you do enjoy the updates, subscribe to the channel because I think Texas is getting hot on the trail. Peace.